Hello, it's the designer of LegendaryReviews.com. Today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and a little tutorial on um, how to use Windows 8 because Windows 8 is going to be coming out really soon and it's very different from previous Windows operating systems. So um, you're pretty much going to have to learn many things all over again now that the start menu is um, no longer where it is. All the things that were all together in the start menu have been, um, you know, put in various places in the operating system now and they're not together anymore and you just got to figure out um, where all those things are such as the search, um, how to turn the computer off, and um, how to lock your computer and um, things like that and how to get to Windows Explorer. And um, here is the Metro interface right here. Um, as you can see, you can see all my apps here. Um, I have many live tiles over here on the side for the news, which is great. I really love this because I get to see what's going on around the world without actually having to open up the app. I could even see the weather um, right in my neighborhood, which is great. And um, there's a lot of great apps out for Windows 8 right now, and I just can't wait until the operating system actually comes out and I can... Um, actually you know when these apps are actually done and there's gonna be tons more apps when it um when it comes out which I, I can't wait for I'm, I'm definitely gonna buy this operating system when it comes out and I mean for those of you saying that um you know it's for touch devices it doesn't work that good on a desktop or a laptop it's just simply not true if you know how to use the operating system it's definitely better than Windows 7 I mean I like it better than Windows 7 and I really did like Windows 7 um, it's a very stable operating system. It's never, ever going to crash on you. No exceptions. You can leave it on for like three months. Nothing's going to happen. Um, you're never going to have to restart it. So, today I'm just going um, to talk about a few things. Uh, you know, first, you know, Microsoft, when they do release Windows 8, they did say that they're going to make a tutorial for the operating system. So while you're installing the operating system, there is going to be um, a quick tutorial that you know shows you how to use the whole thing. But I'm just making a video so you guys know you know ahead of time you know how to use it, and it'll give you a better idea how to use it. Because I mean maybe there'll be a few things on the Microsoft tutorial that they're not going to include and that I might include. You never know. And of course, when it comes out, it, it might be different than the version I have right now. Um, chances are it will, because I I had the Windows uh, 7 beta. Um, when the, the when I was testing it out, and they made quite a few changes. I mean, Windows 7 wasn't exactly that stable in beta, and this is probably more stable than Windows 7 right now. So that that really means a lot, you know. Especially Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer's got a complete makeover. Um, it will never crash ever. It's wicked fast, and uh, it views pages the way it's supposed to. Not the old way that were, you know, the way Microsoft did it, you know. And um, first, I'm just going to show you uh, the on-off button. Uh, you know, just so you guys know, this is the start screen. This is what you're going to get when you start your computer. Go to go to the desktop right now. And um, if you want to get to the on-off button, what you got to do is um, you take your cursor, move it to the top of the screen here, and just move it down, and you click on settings, and you'll see the power options there. Another thing you could do is you can move it from the bottom and then move it up. Click settings here. You got your power options. Sleep, shutdown, and restart. Um, you got your internet there. You got um, Valium. Um, this is a PC settings. That'll take you to the Metro control panel, which I'll show you guys momentarily. PC info, personalization, and control panel, and then there's health help that's pretty self-explanatory uh, if you're in an app you click that and it'll help you out with that specific app um, here this is a uh, PC info this is a Windows rating here they've changed the Windows rating back in Windows 7 in Vista it went to 7.9 and that was the highest it went now it goes to 9.9 .9. so if I was using Windows 7 right now um, all those right there would be at a uh, 7.9 because it couldn't go any higher back then and uh, now it can so it's good for um, 
really powerful systems. And over here we have um, the regular classic Windows control panel here. And uh, you can access that right up there. There's another cool way to access it. Where the start menu used to be, you had all these options, and now they're not there. Well, they're still there. There's just that they're hidden. What you got to do is you got to take your cursor, move it to the bottom. You'll see the start thing right here. All you do is right click, and you get all these options. You get your power options, your disk management, uh, task manager, control panel, Windows Explorer, the search. The search is right there. And... Um, the search is also right here. Um, I, I love the search. Let's say um, we want to look for Yahoo. So let's type that. Yeah. Okay. Now I want to look for it in Internet Explorer. So what it'll do, it'll, it'll search it using my default search engine. Uh, let's say I want to search it in an app. All right. I want to see it in Wikipedia. And it'll search Yahoo in Wikipedia. And it'll give me the article on Yahoo. The search works across every single app, which is just wonderful. It makes things so much easier. And not only can you use it for um, searching through apps, you can you can search um, on your computer, of course. And you can click on Settings, Apps. Got Microsoft Word there, and um, of course Files. So, uh, let me just show you guys um, Internet Explorer right now. This is Metro Internet Explorer. And um, this is a very, very fast version of Internet Explorer here. Let's just show you how fast that is. It's, it's pretty much instant. This will never, ever crash on you. No exceptions. And um, it's, it's really fast. There you go. I'll refresh that. Um, now, as you can see, the Flash Player on our website doesn't work. The way What Microsoft did is, on this version of Internet Explorer, since it's going to be on tablets, and this is really what you're going to use in tablets, because this is the touch-optimized Internet Explorer. I'll show you regular Internet Explorer in a second. Flash is only enabled on websites Microsoft's, Microsoft says can have Flash. Flash is already integrated into Internet Explorer. You don't have to download it. It's already in there. So when you get your computer, you will not have to install Flash because it's built in. Um, that was for security purposes. And um, the reason for Internet Explorer only having Flash on certain websites, let's say like YouTube, is because for security purposes, I mean, Flash could cause a lot of viruses. And you don't want a virus on your tablet. I mean, that would just be horrible. And um, Flash does work on YouTube. And... Um, I mean, if you're going to watch YouTube videos, I'd really recommend going in Internet Explorer, but on the Metro-style Internet Explorer, because um, Flash videos run very well. I mean, they run better in here than they will on any browser. They, they run with a really high frame rate. It, it looks really good. They just run really good in here. They run better in here than they do in regular Internet Explorer. You know, because sometimes other browser, browsers can give you lag. And one thing people don't know is when you're in an app, how do you close it? And it's quite simple. You take your cursor, you put it to the top, you drag it, and you just simply throw it out. That's how you close an app. And um, I, I wish they made it an, an easier way. I mean, and, of course, there is an easier way. Um, you could go to the corner of the screen right here, move down, and you just right click and click close on any of the apps. Here, this is the multitasking for Windows 8 Metro. And you can see all the apps you have open here. It's kind of like the Windows Phone almost. Um, which Win Windows Phone multitasking is, is incredible. I love it. Um, and there you go. You just right click on any of those if you have a mouse. And um, if you're using a tablet, of course, the only way to close it is if you um, just throw it out like that. But I'm not going to do that. Um, Here's an eBay app. There's a lot of good apps out there. You know, I got a few here. You guys saw the Wikipedia one. That's really nice. Uh, the weather one. I, I do like the weather app. I use this pretty much every day. And um, Sky News. Um, this is for European people. And um, 
there's a lot of European apps out there, there's a lot of Chinese apps, so no matter where you are in the world, I mean, there's apps for you. So, um, you're not going to have to worry about apps. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident that the apps are, App Store is going to be pretty great, um, you know, after a year, of course. I mean, right now it's pretty cool. Some of the stuff on there is nice, and these apps are good looking. I mean, look at this app. This pretty good looking app. And, um, all right, let me just show you regular Internet Explorer 10 here. This is a uh, regular Internet Explorer 10. You, you got your brow your um, toolbars here. Um, I love the toolbars. And, you know, here it's just, it's just as fast. It's just as fast in this Internet Explorer as the other one is. If not, this Internet Explorer is faster. And on this version, the desktop version, it's, you know, has full flash. It works on every website. And um, just like the other one, Flash is built into this browser. You do not have to download it ever. It'll automatically update as well. So if you ever um, you know get a pop-up that's trying to download Flash, it's probably a virus. Don't do it because it's already built in here. And um, all right, now that you've seen Internet Explorer. Um, let's go and uh, show you the control panel, the Metro control panel, because uh, this is new. You go here and you go change PC settings, and uh, this control panel gives you options that the classic Windows Explorer one won't give you, and um, you get to uh, change the picture of your lock screen, your your start screen. Um, you can you can change your whole. Uh, all your colors there and uh, your account picture and in users um, when you get your Windows PC you're gonna want to log in with your um, Windows live account and um, the reason for that is it syncs all your settings to your account so uh, if you log into another computer using the same account it'll keep your background picture some of your settings it'll keep all your browser settings which is great it'll have your history in there and um, all your favorites in Internet Explorer, it's really useful. And what you want to do is when you when you get your computer and you sign in, you got to come over here and there'll be a thing and you got to trust this PC so it syncs all your stuff. And you got to make sure it's, tr it's a trusted computer. Here you got um, more settings, search settings, share, general. And um, here in general, when you get your computer, and you've installed the operating system for the first time, always check your um, time zone and make sure it's the correct time zone because by default, Internet Explo I mean Windows will um, you know automatically choose a time zone and you gotta make sure you have the correct time zone. Um, here you got uh, sync settings, Windows update, um, I don't like the Windows update on here. You could just use the regular uh, Windows update. Now I'm going to show you um, some of the new features that they added to um, the desktop. And um, one of those, one big one, it would be um, Windows Explorer. It's um, It looks different. They've added the ribbon here that originated from Microsoft Office. If you um, put the mouse over this and you use the, the scroll wheel on your mouse, it'll... Um, cycle through it just like Microsoft Office or you could just click on it um, it's pretty useful you got file right there I, I like that they did that um, it's, it kinda shows consistency so whenever you use Microsoft program you always have this ribbon on the top which is great and um, one thing that they've changed is the defragmenter it's uh it's now the optimizer and um it works with uh solid state drives and um it'll um it doesn't defragment your solid state drive but it will optimize it and it doesn't put a lot of strain on it which is great and of course if you uh, have a hard drive it will um defragment it And another thing that they've changed a lot on the desktop is um, here the task manager. By default, the task manager is going to look like this. You just got to click more details so you can see all of this information. And as you can see, it gives a lot of information about the apps that are running. And um, they they got performance here. 
and it shows you, you know, basically what your computer is doing, which is great. It gives you little charts and tons of information that the old one didn't, you know. And on top of it, it looks really good. The old one looked, you know, it looked like it was 10 years old. And it really was more than 10 years old, you know. But it's nice that they gave it a makeover and it looks more, you know, up to date. And that's really about it. Um, I'll see you guys in uh, my next video on how to build a PC. And uh, our website design is almost done. You guys should go and uh, check that out. I mean, pretty much all I have to do to this design is uh, make some speed enhancements just to make sure it's running as fast as it can. And besides that, the website is pretty much done. And um, don't forget to subscribe, like my video.